So, um, but there has to be a tolerance of chaos, a tolerance of the uncertainty, the, the, the I don't know that comes into this. That is where the work gets done. It's not in repeating the same thing that you've done a thousand times and just doing your reps. It's going to some place where you don't know and you're in that in the chaos. And that's where the magic happens. You are uh, where the wonder, the awe comes in. So uh, if we're learning, some, doing something simple with our bodies, but doing it in a different way has, has an effect of awakening new neural connections. And with it also the energy. So just because I talk a lot about the nervous system, that's just the thing I'm into right now, but I'm trying to ground a lot of this woo woo stuff in language that will communicate to a, a broader populace. Because, you know, many of us are, you know, really, oh yeah, I feel the chi, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, I'll we'll do this. And, uh, but there are a lot of people who don't. And there is a, a spectrum of interaction with the world that you get to be any, wherever you are on that. And a lot of people can feel the woo-woo stuff. They, that's fine, but they can't do anything with it because they haven't done the other work, which is to actually embody the energy. It's, it's really cool to be able to feel the energy, but if you can't embody it, if you can't express it physically, then you have no jin. And if you have no jin, you know, your, your Kung Fu is not, not very good. So you need, you need the, 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 the jin to be able to, to do something with that. So what we're practicing here is learning how to transform anything, any simple movement into jin. It's not like, oh, I learned these magic movements and then I, then I will have superpowers. It's like, no, no, I want to be able to, with a flick of the wrist, create magic. So that you're using your, your energy, you're leading your chi with your E, with your superconscious and expressing it through the body. And, but you're gonna get resistance from the body because you're going into that, that space where there is, um, uh, there's uncertainty. You don't know what's going on. You're, you're, you're trying to discover what's going on. So um, we're gonna do a little exercise. Um, first, I uh, just give you. Um, I like to give you a demonstration. Ray, you want to give me a hand with this? She, she's not happy about that, but yes. Um, so we're going to uh, show you what. Uh, what is it? It's a very simple thing. We're going to do something like that. Um, it's odd, but it's um, it's an opportunity to to express the chin in a different way. And the, the very simple thing is this, I'm going to reach out my hand and rotate like that. So, and if you were to think of like, oh, I'm going to push someone away, that's not how you're gonna do it, right? You're gonna do like that. But in a number of martial arts, this is something that comes up. That looks like a really awkward, weird, weak kind of movement, but it's something that if you use it to, to express chin, it becomes a thing, right? So if Maria grabs my wrist, right? And, and uh, I try to do that, I, I'm gonna just push, and she's giving me some resistance, and I'm trying to do that by pushing from my shoulder and nothing's gonna happen because I just, I, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, your that, shoulder is weak. It, it, is a, it is a weak muscular connection. But if I access my gin by first feeling my energetic coherence, my index finger, reaching with my elbow, feeling my elbow, feeling my wrist, 
and then it's weird, but magic happens. So it just goes, and she's giving me a lot of resistance. Now I feel my finger, feel my elbow, feel my wrist, and just rotate my forearm, and it something happens. We're using Jin rather than Li, which is just crude muscular force. And Jin, as we you know talked about a couple of weeks ago, it's a combination of Li, muscular force, and Qi. But the closer you can get to just doing the Qi, then it gets interesting. So even once you get, get the hang of that, you, you get like this, then it just, you don't have to do much. It, the move almost you're in my mind I'm, the, the energy was was going along but my arm hardly moved it just just boom like this and it creates that that effect now maria tries it and we're going to get uh, your which arm your right hand right okay so gonna push and i just can't give a body go ahead and you're just pushing push. me you're, you're just you do whatever yeah just okay and it it's not going to work because that's just a not very strong muscular connection and you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself but she feels her index finger reaches with her elbow so opens up the shoulder joint disconnects that muscular tension in the shoulders feels my hand with her wrist and then just rotates her form and reaches out it elevates me it lifts lifts me out of my shoes and it's something that you have to follow that sequence because if you don't it it just gets jammed up, but you feel the elbow, feel the, feel the finger, you feel the elbow, you feel the wrist, and then you rotate 